It's where leisure activities happen at times when leisure activities are not supposed to be happening. The fun you have in the dark playground isn't actually fun because it's completely unearned, and the air is filled with guilt, dread, anxiety, self-hatred, all those good procrastinator feelings. And the question is: In this situation, with the monkey behind the wheel, how does the procrastinator ever get himself over here to this blue zone, a less pleasant place, but where really important things happen? Well, it turns out that the procrastinator has a guardian angel, someone who's always looking down on him and watching over him. In his darkest moments, someone called the Panic Monster. <laughs> Now, the Panic Monster is dormant most of the time, but he suddenly wakes up. Any time a deadline gets too close, or there's danger of public embarrassment, a career disaster, or some other scary consequence, and importantly, he's the only thing that the monkey is terrified of. Now, he became very relevant in my life. Pretty recently, because the people of TED reached out to me about six months ago and invited me to do a TED talk. <laughs> <laughs>